What's up? This is your boy Rashim Kilo Q from Save the Arts TV, and today we are here with Latika Carter in the building. She is in the studio with us with artistic expressions. Came all the way from ATL, and she's gonna show us how she made our Save the Arts TV shirt. Bam! And she's gonna make a shirt for us right now using the vinyl and the cricket. Holla! Holla! What's up, everybody? All right. So we're already in our Cricut Design Space. This is how I make my t-shirts and all my other designs. So I'm just gonna scroll down because I've made these before and I have it saved. It just makes sense to actually, it makes sense to actually save your images from your clients so you don't have to go back in and do that work. As we saw before, just you and I sitting here, it takes a while to be able to go in and save your design. What you're actually doing is breaking it down piece by piece, just like you designed it. So we're doing it a little bit backwards. You know, as designers, we'll go in and we'll start building a logo piece by piece or an image piece by piece. Well, we're doing it backwards this time. Okay. And you showed me your logo, so I had to take it apart piece by piece. Now, as you can see, yours is down here somewhere. Boom. It's there. Right. Okay. So we got Rock and Rods. Rock and Rods. Yeah. We got Save the Arts TV for the hoodie. Save the Arts TV. Let's go. Let's go. We got Save the Arts Films. <laughs> Save the Arts Films in the building. Right. And then we have Save the Arts TV T-shirt. The T-shirt. Right. Merch. We're, merch. What we're about to design right now. So I'm going to click on that. And rather than say make it, we're going to customize it because it's my understanding we're going to change up some colors right, right. now. Yeah. So it's very important to know the different types of vinyls you're going to be using. And being that the vinyls that we choose to use is what we have here in your studio. Right. And we're going to be using holographic and glitter vinyl. You can't stack on top of that unless it's something like Easy Weed. Okay. which is regular vinyl. So we're not working with any regular vinyl tonight. As you can see, when I pull it up, it's like, where is the design? Hold up, wait a minute, let's just minimize, zoom zoom out where we can see your image. Gotcha. Do you see all of these layers right here on the side? Yeah. So imagine putting all of your layers in here for mm. your design. Mm. Now we've already picked out the vinyl we want to use mm -hmm. right you want to pick it up so we can show make sure we're going to pick what we know and then red. i'm red red we're going to use this red holographic is it silver you want to use silver holographic and black and black glitter this looks like your galaxy black because of all the different kind of specs that's in here the different color specs now, what's important is always know what colors you're going to use, what type of vinyls you're going to use, and I just keep reiterating that because it's very important. Now, when you look at yours, you do see gray. You see it stacked on top of each other. And I just mentioned we can't stack these on top of each other. So that lets me know, first, I need to be able to go in and take out those bottom layers of what's been stacked like that gray that's here. I'm just gonna click on it, but as you can see, the red comes up. I just need to know where my gray is. It's down here, I'm gonna click, rather than delete, because I don't wanna do this over. I'm gonna hit blind eye, so that way it goes away. And then your TV, I'm gonna click on that, and here is the silver. We're gonna click on that. You have a bunch of stacks here, so you got the, as you can see right here, we're gonna take one of those away, so let's just take the red away. And the arts, of course, we're gonna take the black away that's down here. So what you're left with is your tube. Now, we do have an issue right now, because as I'm looking at your design, it's still stacked. It's still layered. You see that? And guess what? We can't stack these on top of each other. So we have to make a decision. How are we going to fix this? 
Do you have any idea? And the reason why is because I don't have regular vinyl in the studio to make our shirts. I only have a few rolls of vinyl and they're the glitter vinyl, so yeah. Holographic and vinyl. Yeah, yes. so I'm kind of messing up the logo, as yeah, y'all kind of see. Right, so now I have to go in as the designer here and say how can I still give him the design he wants and not compromise his logo. So this is a first for me. We're going to do this together. Right. What do you think we should do first and foremost? Probably... Hold up, this is your very interesting look. Like, this is your think face? Think face. Probably change the TV to red. Okay, I get what you're saying. However, it's still layered. Oh, Even, because it's on top of it. Uh, the sieve is on top of the TV. Yes. And the TV is on top of that. So. Yes. Huh. You said that you wanted your tube to be silver. This is posing a problem. So let's do this. Make the TV bigger and put the sieve and the TV on the inside of the screen. Ah, that's a thought process. So we can definitely do that. So that means I have to, let me, I don't want to have to move, but I'm going to have to move this. So we're just moving stuff around. That's all it is. So now you see your TV. But this is the white part. So now we have an empty screen. Because we can't put anything on top of this. And what color is the shirt again? Black. So, you have to rethink. Make that bigger mm -hmm. and make it silver. Make what silver? The whole TV, the whole outline. Not that white part, that. Okay, I get that. Mm -hmm. Are we going to have anything on the inside? Yeah. No, we're going to put the red letters on the inside. Okay, that is one thing. Now, how big do I need to make this? Like, do I even know? How, do how big I... the TV need to be? Yeah. Why I mean, you, this and Cricut gives you everything you should see here is based on inches. So. This right here, you click on it and let you know it's a 10 by 24, 10 by 32. By the way, I touched it. I'm going to make this easier. I'm going to click on my templates. I'm going to go into my classic t-shirts. I'm going to insert. What color is your t-shirt? Black. So we're using a black t-shirt. Now, some people say, well, why are you using black vinyl with black? The black on your t-shirt is going to show up it'll stand out a little bit but it won't stand out as much as your silver so would you rather use your silver than your black in this case now that so, we had to dissect okay you see i'm just coaching him along not trying to tell him what to do I'm just coaching him along coaching. having him to make the right decision because you know i'm not going to do that <laughs> all right so what we got to do is change the shirt to what size is your shirt? Extra large? Extra large. It's a men short sleeve and my color of my shirt is black. So that helps me because it's just a guy. But you see, even though we have glitter right here, you put it against a black shirt, it's going to show up a little bit. But in this particular situation, because we had to change out your design differently because we don't have the vinyl that we need. And we're using what we got to get what we want. Absolutely. We're using what we got to get what we want. All right. All right. Because, you know, it's his logo. He can Preach. do whatever he want to do. Hello. Pass the offer, please. Preach. All right. So I'm going to click on this, which is. Let's your... have an offering. I'm already. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to click on your TV too. Uh -huh. And I'm going to click silver. That just helps me to visually see my design. I'm going to put it back in the middle of the shirt. Now I can see it. I'm also going to make my design a little bigger so I can see better. This is the same size. I haven't touched it. You are saying we need to make it a little bit bigger. Or put save above it. Okay. The only concern is because of the mats with the Cricut, if you don't have the long mats, you can't really cut 
big. I can piece them together and make them bigger, but I don't know if you want to do that. Wait, I got it. What you? Eliminate the TV. Just give me the word. Save the artist TV. Bam. But to me, let's do the men extra large. And we're still going to keep it black because it's important that you try to get your t-shirt color to the to be closest to the real color that you want because in your mind even though we're using the the colors are going to be somewhat different like the shiny and it'll look better but you still need to see visually what you're working with so there's your save and i'm going to zoom in all right so at this point I'm sure you want to change this to silver or red. red. All of it you want red. So we're going to make the red like so. And I'm going to bring TV over here. This just helps you to gain a visual of what your image is going to look like on the t-shirt again once you cut it out you still have to position it on the actual t-shirt before you press it up there are many steps to vinyl that's one reason why vinyl costs more than screen printing oh i'm sorry about that. i didn't know you were blocking my view because you were all in <laughs> all right so this is what you want yeah this is how you want it you sure so I'm getting ready to save this, okay? okay? So if you ever say, you remember when we did that? And I'm gonna put, I'm like, yep, I got it, where is that? I'm gonna put on here without. Oh. STA TV without two, okay? So I'm gonna make sure I put shirt. Okay. Now just save that. Now, the biggest size that I see on here is going to be your arts. It stops at 11.25 wide. My mats are 12 by 12. If it comes back and kicks back and says, hey, change the size of your image, we'll know why. Okay? So now we're going to click make it. We're at 13, 13, but we can move this around. Let's see, 13 is straight. It'll still take it on the cricket, but you have to mirror this image. This image has to be mirrored because the adhesive to the vinyl is on the back. And when we lay it down on the mat, we have to lay it down as so. Because when you're ready to actually press it up, have to turn it this way. Why? Because the adhesive which sticks the vinyl to the shirt is on the back. Okay? All right. So are you ready to make this? Let's do it. All right. So now we have to cut it up. You want to pause it? Now we have to show them how we have to cut it and lay it on the mat. So we're doing nothing but red now. Right? Silver. I don't know if you said red. So we got the, he won, he changed it from red to silver, okay? So now we're gonna do silver. It's a 12 by 12, however, this is a 15, 20, it's like 20 by, yeah. So this is way longer than what we need, but we're only, we're gonna put, we're gonna cut this and put it all on one mat. That's all we need, it's just one mat. So what I would do, 
since this mat allows me to gather, gauge the size, can you hold this here for me? I know we need 13, my mat is only 12 by 12. How do you make that happen? You're going to come down to the edge. Your edges really doesn't matter because it'll be hanging out from the screen. I'm sorry, from the mat anyway. Okay, got it. All right, so now I'm gonna do my side. And what did I share with you that's important when you're ready to lay this mat, lay the vinyl down? What's important? Massive. What's important? What is important? Tell the world. The adhesive side. Oh. <laughs> like, huh? So this one is for your more heavier colors. You can see how I've used this depth, but it still works. The shiny side needs to be laying down because when we weed it, it needs to be this way on the t-shirt. Okay. So let's see how I cut this. I think I did it this way. And as long as it goes up under there, you're good. See how it says hanging off? That's fine. As long as my edges are good on both sides, because I can look at the screen and see that it's going to cut everything. I want to move this over just a little bit. So I'm apprehensive to the side where I see that S is hanging. So the sticky mat, we're good to go. That's all we have to do. Ready to move to the cricket. Can you plug cricket. up your the cricket to your mat, please? As you can see, I'm gonna represent my brand, vinyl, Divas. Boom. Now I'm hit continue on the monitor. But before I do that, it's gonna come up. I'm gonna change my settings. It's very important to know what you how you want it to be cut. This is vinyl, and I always use um, more pressure. So I select something, I customize my settings to cut it correctly. I make sure my needle was sharp enough because if you keep your needles in too long, it won't cut through. It loses its strength. It's already been put in here. You see this button is saying, the cricket, let me know to go. And we're about to start cutting. Are you supposed to leave it open while it's cutting? What am I supposed to do closer? I'm not asking. That's how you that's how you that's how the cricket works? Yeah. Oh, you can that. see the lines that it made already, see? You see? You said no? So what we want to do is go ahead and get ready for the next one. So where's the black? While this cutting? Right there. It's on the side. Right there. Oh here. Oh. We want to go ahead and cut this. Do you want to cut it the way I showed you? Need that mat? No, I got another one. Oh. That's going to be finished in a minute. So we're going to use oh. this vinyl as well. I was kidding. I didn't see how you cut it. I really didn't see it. Let me see. So while that's cutting, we're, that's going to be done in just a minute. Well says it's on 27%. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one ready. I'm going to case again. To do the same thing. He wants to do black. Same design. And this just helps you to move along quick with your design. 
so I know 12 by 12. Some hanging off on the side. I mean the bottom. We're gonna leave some hanging because I don't have a 12 by 24 mat. But my design is only by 13 inches long for the mat. You can get away with 13, 13 and a half, but I wouldn't do anything more than that. And you don't want to, you don't want to waste vinyl. Normally, I, I wouldn't work like this, but I, I, in my area, to work, I would make sure my lines are a lot straight, more straight, that way I'm not wasting vinyl, because this stuff is expensive, all right? Now, what are we supposed to do with our vinyl when we lay it on the mat? Kilo. Turn it upside down. He got it right. All right. <laughs> so, here we are. Let me turn this around this way. Nope. Better this way. See, this time I got too much hanging off the side because I, I wasn't able to hold it down. So, we just wasted some vinyl right here on the side. And I'm going to have to trim it. But now you get to start you, Kilo, you get to start you an actual box for your extra vinyl. And believe it or not, depends on the design, you can actually get away with your scraps and create an entire design without buying brand new. Just depends. As I was stating, I needed a, at least a 12 by 24 because of the extra that's hanging off on the side what i want to do is leave this hanging on the bottom because it's, it's fine it's not going to matter on my sides i want to make sure that it's that it's able to be caught i want to take this off so it doesn't get hung i know this kind of messy this is not how i usually work out of my element not in my office all right so we're ready for the next one so you're going to hit that button right there Kilo that's flashing? Yes. yes. And we're gonna put the next, we're gonna put, we're gonna put the next one in. Same, same setting. Boy, my mat's getting old on me. Same design, so we don't have to change it out. And this this is what happens when you have multiple orders with the same design. After you after you actually design it the first time, you can just keep using it back to back. Just keep putting your vinyl on top of your onto your mat and let your cutter do what it needs to do. It's curling up a little bit, but it should be fine because of the pressure the cricket is putting down. While that's working and cutting, I'm just gonna put, cover this back up. That's important to try to keep it sticky as you can. And we're gonna get our weed. We get ready to do the next phase is called weeding. This is one reason why vinyl costs because of the time you put into this. Now, you can't really see, I don't know if you can or not, but you can see the little intricate cuts. And it's, you can see your nice little intricate cuts. Now what I do see is, I have a lot of vinyl that hasn't been used right here. I'm gonna cut that out so you can keep it without compromising the cut. It's very important that you watch what you're doing so that you don't cut into your design or <laughs> you have to start over or print that 
letter, that word or design again. So this is extra design, I mean extra vinyl here that he can use for something else. Actually, that word save could be used again. See the size of it? I'm just letting you know if you want to use save on something else. And then we have a little extra here that this is how I do mine. I don't waste my vinyl. Here's some more. We're not, there's nothing on here. We want to make sure we keep that. Let's get ready to get hot in here because of that heat press. Okay. All right. Now this is the work. What I like to do, some people won't do this, but I like to just go ahead and cut my designs up so I can weed up. You want to start weeding that? Do you know how to weed? No, oh boy. Oh boy, well, watch me. You don't have a weeder? Do you have a weeder, don't you? I have a weeder. That didn't come with yours. <laughs> Put that down. See, I need to make sure I can see this so I don't mess this up. You just pulling the No, 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 no. Please, no. I will do this. <laughs> no. You're about to mess that up. All right, so all of this is your arts. It doesn't matter which one you do first. Um, sometimes you have to get a light to be able to see up under because the vinyl is thicker and it's hard to see if you don't have good lighting. You see how it's coming up? I don't weed out the words to pull the words off i pull off the extra uh, yeah uh, and see when it's cut right it'll come off easy so you have b now this is safe so we're ready and we're still going yeah, the see, black is still cutting yeah i know i was supposed to, to pull, put it down i was pulling the s off <laughs> see boom uh, this is trash. Wow. That there. And that's safe. Wow. Yeah. So this is that. And then we have your TV right here. See what I saw that you were doing, you were actually trying to take the letters out. Yep. And see, you know, a dope design would be sometimes when you can take this, your extras off and it still creates the design, but it's an outline, you can do it. You can use it. See? You yep. still can use that. Yep. I will. <laughs> but you, before you say I will, you have to know what to do with that. But that you can keep. And there's just... your TV. Put that right there. And see how you got the? Just had to cut it so it's nice and even. Now this is the part I want to make sure I don't mess up, which I shouldn't, because I made sure the needle was good. You take your time. Huh? Take your time with it. The needle was good. You're ripping fast. Yeah. What are you nervous about? I'm not nervous. I'm my just, needle but, is, but my needle is brand new, so it should cut with no problem. Now the smaller parts that I know are thin, I would make sure I go slower. Like see here. I absolutely love doing this. It's relaxing. You know people who like to pop bubbles? <laughs> With those little poppers be like, man, put that down. So when I look at the R here, I want to make sure that's the way it's supposed to be. It is thicker and it looks like it is. So that's one down. Can you give me the black? Do you want to do a red? Uh-uh. You got to click the button. You get ready to break my machine, dog. You want to do a red one? done. It's all about heating it up. Now again, you can see we got all this extra. You can see here. Can you see the outline of it? Mm -hmm. You have to have good lighting because 
This vinyl will fool you. I have messed up a couple of my designs. <laughs> now he gets me. Look. <laughs> really? So what you can do is actually go ahead and get your heat press together. If we're not going to print out anything else, do you, you don't want to print out anything else? Because I can actually get that done, what I told you, real quick. While we're pressing this up, and you have three shirts. What, the red? No, the generation one. Oh. I can do that real fast. Let's do that. Well, no, I don't need that one. What I was thinking about, yeah, we would have to do one where it's an outline because you don't have all the vinyl we need anyway. But what he is going to do is buy a regular vinyl, y'all. Tell him about regular vinyl, because he need regular vinyl so that he can design. He can have layers. All right, so we're going to do this black. What is your temperature setting on? This should be 320. 320? Yes. 320 and it's more like 15 seconds. 12 to 15 seconds. We don't need 30. Your 350 settings go for your printable vinyls. You said 320? 320 for vinyl like this, your glitter vinyl. You said 15 seconds? Yes. Hmm? I'll just hold it. Hey. There's the. Do Alright, we're almost done. Is this fascinating? That's pretty cool. Did you see you're like, it takes a long time, but do you see? It depends on if your cutter has been changed with new needles. The needles are not dull, so it can cut through with no problem. Glitter vinyl is usually. Do you have to have your thing on a certain setting? Yes. For vinyl? Yes. I, as I was sharing before, I like to have mine on premium frosted vinyl with more pressure being applied than the regular vinyl because it gives it a better cut as you can see I can see the cut and it's easier for me to take it off and we still got all of our design you see that you had asked me to cut it before we still have that extra little line that he wanted we didn't even have to cut it. And that's what I was sharing with you with that um, 13 inches. We could get 13 inches on the 12 by 12. It's just how you lay it on your mat. You could just use this and do that, but I have nails and it's okay. Your glitter vinyl is forgiving. So if you bend it, that's not a problem. It's forgiving. When you put it down, it's gonna actually set. And that's it. I always like to make sure I don't have any extra pieces in there that shouldn't be. Push it in. Yeah. All right. All right. You said you wanted it on a black t-shirt. We'll out to see what it's gonna look like. <laughs> so is that everything? That's it. Are you gonna keep this or not? That's the total. Alright, so you wanna put this stuff back over there? So we can pack up. Yep. So this this. Oh, 
got a whole nother thing. circles and see that little yeah. dot that when I did it when I cut it out all of these things fell apart see because it's like one two three different things it's that star then it's a dot in the middle and it's that trim and then these are the stars but they have a dot in the middle so the dots fell apart so now I get where the mass comes in because it holds all that together and all you have to do is weed out the things and leave the dots for what we were doing you know what I'm saying? Okay, so we have our t-shirts here. Now it's time to go ahead and Did press you? up the shirt. You say you got it. So you see it's wrinkled and everything. For the sake of time, I'm going to do this quickly. Uh, our temperature is on 282 right now. That's enough to go ahead and do the shirts to get the moisture out. It's important that you get the moisture out of the t-shirts. This mug is hot. So what I like to do is Make sure I don't get burnt in my face first. <laughs> Press it to get the moisture out. All I need is two to three seconds. One, two, three. Pull it up. So the moisture is out. However, it made a few more wrinkles. I do it for a second. All right. So I also like to make sure that I have my design center correctly so i usually just go ahead i got you over there. i can't see if i'm in the camera view. what do you mean can i turn it you can't be the videographer I'm and not, the dog going i'm trying to see make sure i'm uh, all right so what i like to do is get the scenes together like so see these scenes here these seams, I like to take it. You want to put it directly in the middle, like so. Shirt sleeve upon shirt sleeve, and here. So it's centered in the middle. Take it, put it here. See that way, it's centered. It's going to get me a nice little crease. A couple seconds. Pull it out. This is my, my line to gauge the center. As you can see going down here. So now we're on 301 for our temperature. And I'm just going to make sure that I don't burn my face. And that this is centered correctly. Now I'm going to ask you where do you want it. Now you have to come and position it based on how you saw your design. So you have your save and turn it this way. You see how close that is to your collar? That's a, I think that's too close. And they can't see what I'm saying. It's because, we need to it's because the words all words, so all letters. Well, if we need to move the t-shirt up some, we can do that. Can you do that? That's all. Okay. Make sure it stays set. So that's where you want it? Yep. Well, you got the rest. What you got? Press it for two seconds. But 
my paper on here to protect. Ready? There's 15 seconds. One, two, three. Can't do 15 seconds. That's a little warm. <laughs> then we're just going to take this off first. Like so. See how it's on there? Now what'll happen is if I don't press this for the at least 13 seconds, it won't stay on. We have to embed it inside of the material now. So we're gonna give it at least 13 seconds. One, press it down. I think we've already made sure it has pressure is good. This is really hot. Okay, we're gonna raise it up. Take this off, and this shirt is done. Say the Arts TV. Say the Let's Arts go. TV. Let's go. That's one. All right, we have one more. Now this is gonna be hard to see, y'all. Uh, because it's black on black. This is the blacked out, blacked out version. So it's gonna be hard to see. Yeah, he wanted to do this. All right, so we got another shirt. What we're gonna do, we have to take the moisture out first. So you're gonna lay it down as such, wherever you're gonna put your design. Pray I don't burn my face in the process. Take the moisture out, all you need is two seconds. One, two, or three. We're gonna do the same thing to make sure it's centered in the shirt. Seam, seam, and such. Okay. Just to give us a guide. Just press it a couple of seconds. center our line. Make sure we stay in our center. It's like it's so hot. Wrong place. It's a good idea to raise this. It's too close. This is too dangerous. Lake. Alright, you ready to put your where you want it? So you say the plastic can't touch each other. The plastic can touch each other, but not the vowel itself. Boy, 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 this heat press is no joke, it's hot up in here. I think you just put that in a different spot. You don't care? Okay. So integrity with your design is fine because it's your design. Right. Make sure none of your vinyl is on top of the other as far as if anything is stopping it. Like if you have a clear piece up under the actual vinyl itself, guess what's going to happen? It's going to stick to your plastic rather than your shirt. So, we're going to put the Teflon back down. Okay. I'm going to give it two seconds. Three. Okay. Pull it back up. It's so hot. I'm going to take this off. Trash. Okay. back here. Y'all, my weed is about burning myself. You tell my mom. Better not tell nobody but God. 
All right, so now we're going to go ahead and set this for 13 seconds. Ready? Oh, I want to get to 17. Another done t-shirt. The, the blacked out. The blacked out saves the odds. <laughs> I'm Latika S. Carter. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram by typing in that name. Also, my work is kingdomdesigningproduction.com or artisticexpressions.com. Rasheen. Save the odds! <laughs> he won't ready. I had a good time. Thank you so much for having me here at Save the Art TV. And there you go. Save the Art TV. Bam. Pop